So let's go back. Oh, oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler and today we've got a brand new horror title for you guys. It's called Evil Inside and I uh, actually came across this through, uh, through another channel called Fast Bros. I'll leave a link to their channel and the uh, game that they're playing. Uh, and it looks awesome. So I've watched one video, it's uh, the first three rounds it's called. Uh, but it looks awesome. Uh, it's basically PT. Um, or at least heavily inspired by PT, where you're wandering and the hallway keeps changing and the graphics look the same. It basically is PT, as far as I'm concerned. So I only watched what's called the first three rounds, which is basically going around the hallway three times. Um, after that, I don't know anything. I stopped watching because I just knew I had to get it. So that's what I've done. So with that being said, let's crack on. <clears throat> and we have breaking news that arrives from the north of the state of Oregon. Here we have Mary Jane Anderson, north. our reporter at the crime scene. Thanks, Joe. Our they found the body of a like woman who went missing last Monday. Forensics located her camera near a well in which her lifeless body was also found. Her husband, the alleged killer, has already been arrested. <gasps> not us, though. We're not the killer this time. Wouldn't it be funny if that tied back into Inflection? Just saying. Oh, wait, what? This is not how I remember the gameplay style. Oh. So, I, from what I remember, we are playing the son of the murdered woman. I think he's going to have a phone call with someone in a moment. There it is. I remember it perfectly. Hello? Hi, Mark. It's been a long time since what happened to your mother. That happened many months ago. Are you better? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the exposition as well, there. Contact with the afterlife. Yes. Tell me what you need. I need you to make contact with my mom. So, so far, voice acting is on point. Yes, not really. But it's not bad. It's not terrible acting. It's just not very... Uh, it's, a, it's an indie project. Uh, which is which is fine. Um, I, you know, you, you, I'm not expecting the best. Ooh, I was expecting that one though, because again, I remembered it. That sound effect when you got the ear earphones in is awesome. Ah. Oh, I don't remember what Ouija board. Oh dear, I don't remember that from the video that I watched. Well, that is just thrusting me straight into it. We've got uh, that is trying to cram all the story of what happened to us in less than two minutes. Great. Now I am dubious because of the settings. I always check my settings before I start a game first. So wouldn't let me do my controls. Oh, damn it! I love inverted controls. I'm gonna have to get used to them not being inverted. Thankfully, it's not a shooting game, so it shouldn't be too bad. But come on, I mean, how hard is it? But anyway, yeah. So here we are. We are in. Uh, evil inside. Um, I can't do anything about the brightness in my game. My mom is dead. Yes. My father in prison, and I have to take care of my little brother. Oh, so I'm going to be looking the wrong way a lot. I apologize, guys. Uh, but here we are. This is why I said that this game heavily inspired by PT. It even looks like the same corridor. Uh, they just changed things around. This is not a complaint. I love PT, and I think it's wrong what they did in getting rid of Kojima. Uh, and losing out on what could have been a historical moment in gaming, in horror gaming in particular. Although, to be fair, PT will go down in history, I think, has been just phenomenal, basically. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're going to be. Obviously, we've got. It's not. Mom? Uh, what are you seeing that I'm not? Why are you calling out Mom? Uh, obviously, it's not exactly like that. No, I'm not pretending. That... Jackie? How the hell can you tell who that is through that? I don't like the sound of that. I like the look of that though. Oh, yeah, so this is... Uh, uh, obviously we played Infliction. Basically, if you've got a game that looks like PT, I will almost certainly buy it. <laughs> Just because of how much I love that game. Uh, although, now that I'm playing it myself, it looks less like it. I mean, that door looks a little bit shoddy. But then again, no. Right, so I can't go that way. 
Uh, but yeah, it looked really good. Um, I, I'm hoping it's not a long one. Uh, what and the I'm, hell? What, what the hell in, are you what the helling at? Oh, that, okay. Peculiar. Um, and basically, I'm just wanting a little bit of a break from The Last of Us on the channel. I'm not playing it. I've already finished that game. I love that game. But I know there's 47 episodes of that game coming out. So I uh, I just thought a little bit of a break for everyone. Uh, so I'm going to throw in the odd uh, diversion from uh, from The Last of Us every now and again. Because I wanted to record all of The Last of Us to give myself a bit of a break from recording. But you know what? I absolutely love it. And every time I'm, I'm doing something like, oh, I wish I could record an episode of this, so, come on, that clearly wants to be flicked, alright, fine, guess it doesn't, uh, that is as fast as I can walk as well, that's fine, daily news, breaking news, okay, can't be that breaking, it's a newspaper, I mean, anything that's breaking news has already been broke the day before, but okay, um, so what am I doing here? This is not how I remember it at all. I obviously wasn't paying that much attention to that video, so uh, sorry guys. I thought I was, but apparently I wasn't. What am I doing then? Am I thinking I'm just walking through? I actually need to solve. Oh, I remember. I remember something with this. Why can't I do anything with it? Okay, so I'm not to be doing anything with that just yet. All right, that's fine. Hmm. Okay. So this game looks a lot more fun when someone else was playing it. Um. What am I doing? Wait, there was a Ouija board, wasn't there? What happened to the Ouija board? Let's obviously... Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Oh, you deceptive game. That's how dark it is. Look at that. Couldn't even see it. Even when I saw it around there, from there, you can't see it. You deceptive little SOB. <gasps> Spooky. So that, if I remember rightly... I've put the brightness right up, by the way. What the freaking hell? Oh, there it is. I, the brightness is fully up. I always do for horror games because of how dark they are. And my recordings are always a bit darker. Um, and I'll put a filter on that will make the game a little bit brighter for you guys. But holy damn, this is dark. Hmm. So now what? Everything looks the same still. Still can't do anything with that, that's fine, alright. So I guess we walk on. I bet if I was to take my time really slowly and look around, there's probably gonna be a hidden ghost like there was in PT. What the hell are you? What are you? Other than low res? Hmm. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Nothing for us to do in here. Do we go through the door? I literally can't open doors, so I, I do. God damn, I keep thinking that, sorry, I'm, my controls are all over the place, I can't change the sensitivity, I can't change the invert. I keep thinking that plan over the far end is a person when I turn around. I think it's because I'm anticipating seeing a person. Can I leave? There's literally nothing I can interact with. Which is fine. So I'm guessing, whilst we're wandering around, uh, that our character obviously we're playing the son of the murdered woman Rose and his dad's been convicted of a murder but I'm wondering if the ghost has been haunting the son and therefore he thinks that something didn't happen to his father so he's trying to contact her and then he's been dragged into an otherworldly thing possibly Where, what am I doing game give me a possibility you know like anything give me something I mean atmosphere is pretty cool uh like I said, not much is happening, but the sound effects are on point, the lighting's spot on, although it seems to be darker where the lights are for some reason. Not really, but almost. So let's go back. Oh, oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> Holy... Okay, I'm reinvested in this game now. <laughs> I did... I even... T I did... I didn't even have a chance to look at that properly because I was, uh, I literally just let it all out. <laughs> okay, wow. <clears throat> Is this the baby brother that we're supposed to be looking after? 
Okay, so this game's pretty simple. I'm 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 treating it too much like PT because it definitely gives me a PT vibe. I'm thinking just walk around. Uh, I'm forgetting there's actually more to explain. Oh yeah, my pads definitely act up a little bit. I will buy a new pads soon, guys. I've decided. Shut up. Mhm. Mm yep. 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 Leave the baby. Leave the baby. He's done for. Oh god, that was that was good scare. That was completely completely out of the blue. Why is it dinging? It's not on the hour as far as I can see in this pitch black environment. I'm waiting for it to one day be well one one cycle be watching me from there. Huh. Oh, oh, phone, phone, phone. Something to do. Oh, I'm, I'm digging this now. Right? I'm getting more into the feel of this game. I'm, just, I'm separating it in, in my mind now from PT. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's absolutely fine. This breathing. Mom? Mom? Look at that. He actually read it exactly as it written on script. So the script says, mmm. Mum, so he read it as meh, meh, mum. That was some terrible acting. Love it, love it, love a bit of corny acting. Uh, if you've ever watched any of my sketches, you know I love corny acting. Any of my sketches, my one sketch that I've done today. Okay, everything's fine. We now know where we're going. Wait, where's the hallway gone? Okay, I guess we can't go that way just yet. This is flickering, so that's a good sign that something bad's gonna happen. Come on, game. Oh, oh, the Ouija board. So do I, oh, I need to fix the Ouija board. Got ya, so I need to start picking up a piece of the Ouija board on each round, that all then, I guess, free the ghost. I guess the guy that came to help me, f you know, without any, you know, blink, didn't blink an eye, just came to help me uh, resurrect my mother. He's disappeared. He never showed. I would have tracked it myself. Do I need to turn around? What am I doing, game? I'm just walking forward. Yes, just walking forward, okay. That's perfectly normal. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Don't know why that's supposed to be spooky, but apparently it is. Okay, can I walk in here normally now? Thanks, game. I don't sound like no baby I've ever heard. Am I hearing a whale song in the background as well? Yep. This this be freaky. Okay, the game, this game's definitely ramping up the spooky factor. Right, if I remember rightly, this is about the... It was a couple of weeks ago since I watched this game. What's screaming at me and why? Oh, there was someone on the floor. See, this is what I'm on about with the pissing controls not being inverted. I'd have looked down, but I couldn't function in my brain. There was a dead body on the floor. Briefly saw it. I'll, um, I have plans on what I want to do for this video, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but hopefully I'll come back and show you that. <laughs> Jesus, wet. That was... There we go. And I need to solve the lock with this, so let me just use my mind brain and get this fixed. Boom! Nailed it! Yes! That was... That was a cheat as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you have got a key! No one's gonna jump out at me now. Okay, I need to be more alert. I think the reason why I looked away from the ghost that manifested on the floor was I was anticipating it was gonna manifest uh, on the balcony. 
your key is not for no, you. Is it for the front door? That'd be really good because I will more than happily get out of this building. Yeah, but I've just got a key. Okay, fine. Is that it for doors? It looks like it. That's it for doors. Nothing else to unlock. Unless the train can be unlocked. No, nothing to do with the train. Okay. I don't want. I don't like walking in this room anymore. Yeah, you're still being freaky. I'm waiting for that baby's head to turn around and it's just gonna be horrifying. And another thing, what I wanted to mention before, but I forgot. Why is that breathing remind you of his mum? How did his mother breathe in real life that would make him think that sounds like my mum? Bizarre, okay. Right, I'm gonna have to keep wandering around. Hopefully I'll figure it out. They're usually really simple puzzles once I've figured it out. But I'm uh, clearly not as smart as I like to think I am. I know, shocking. So we're gonna we're gonna finish this puzzle and then we're gonna call an end to this video because then after that everything is uh, a mystery to me. I've not got past it. So shut up, baby. Can I go through the painting? No. Damn, that was surefire solution. Can't do anything with this damn train. I am trip over it. Now this might be mad, but the ghost was laying here. Was there something on the floor? Pull back the rug kind of thing, and there's like a trap door. No. I know there's something to do with a well involved in this game, because I saw, um, I watched the trailer before I purchased this. <sighs> Stop mocking me. Probably something really obvious, really stupid that I'm just not seeing. But I picked up a key. There's only two doors I can inter interact with, and they both say they're locked, even though I've got the key. It's definitely not in there anymore. Definitely picked it up. Um, this door, which is the way we always usually progress, uh, isn't giving me any options to interact with it in the slightest. Oh, hang on, there is a zoom button. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely zooming. So do I need to zoom at something is, and then I get a jump scare and that's going to open it? That's what happened in PT. Again, I know, I, I'll mention it a lot because this is exactly what it's reminding me of. That's why I picked it up. Do I need to zoom look? And then something's going to jump at me. You're going to jump at me? Hmm? Are you? Are you? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone's knocking on my own door now. Sorry about that, guys. I had a... Uh, <clears throat> We've been expecting an Amazon delivery and it just came just as I was, you know, in the middle of a horror game. Um, and to be fair, that is the most excitement I have had in the last 10 minutes because nothing's happening in this goddamn game. I can't figure anything out. I don't know why I can't figure anything out. It's just not making any sense to me. I'm zooming at everything I can think to zoom at. There's no, nothing standing out. Let's go zoom at the baby and if that doesn't do anything, then I don't know what will. Oh, hang on. I thought I saw something on top of there, but I think it was just the gleam of light. Yeah, it must have been. Okay, baby, I'm gonna zoom in at you. Don't jump at me. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely snookered. Not a clue, completely, utterly clueless I am. Well. I would like to say I'm enjoying this game, and truthfully, I am enjoying it, but also truthfully, I'm a little frustrated with the fact that it's its not really even hinting at what I should be doing, it's completely just, you know, abandoning any kind of direction at all, um, there's not really anything for me to even try and figure out as far as I can tell. I mean, no, every door doesn't, 
that I can interact with is just locked, even though I've picked up a key, there's nothing else I can use a key with. As far as I can tell, the game is that freaking dark. Uh, it's really not giving me anything to, uh, to interact with. So I am going to leave it here. Yes, I am. I am going to definitely leave that there. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, not much has happened, but we literally have just started it, so I'm not expecting like, loads to happen. Uh, it's more of a, a horror experience rather than a horror game. You know, you're just doing the bare minimum, you're not trying to survive or outrun anything like in Outlast or in Resident Evil games or Silent Hill games. It is more a case of here's a puzzle, just you know, figure it out and eventually will scare you. Uh, and they did a good job with that scare. That really, really got me. I'd completely and utterly forgot from watching it that that was going to happen. So <laughs> kudos. I uh, really enjoyed that. We will be back with this game. Um, so as I said, I'm doing The Last of Us 2. 47 episodes. We're only about nine in. So what I might do is on the odd weekend, I might just drop another video just as a... For those people who aren't enjoying The Last of Us, this is going to be probably one of them. Um, and that's that's all I have to really say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you're interested to see a little bit more. Uh, and if you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. Uh, <laughs> without giving spoilers, although not, there's really going to be many spoilers for this kind of game. Uh, and with that being said, I'll see you all in the next episode coming soon. Bye. Hi guys, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. And I guess that means you liked what you just saw. So in that case, don't forget to hit that like button. Down below not only lets me know that you enjoyed the content, but it lets YouTube know. And of course, watch there, leave me a comment, because I always love to hear from you guys. And why not subscribe? And of course, hit that notification bell, because I am terrible at advertising when new videos are out. So that way, you'll always catch them when they come out. And of course, if you enjoyed this, then you might like one of these videos as well. So, uh, so do check them out, and I'll see you all on the next episode, coming very soon. Bye.